so we are on our screen right now so the first thing that you simply do is that once you download it friend funnels uh, be sure that you open mbasic.facebook.com it's mbasic.facebook.com once you've opened that you can simply log into friend funnels like put in your email and password let me put in my email and password okay log in like once you have logged into it the first thing that you simply need to do is that you need to set up uh, your message one and your message two like there are multiple messages that been set up in friend funnels so that once you initiate friend funnels it can be like randomly sending one of those messages so we can simply set up anything we can simply want over here it could be any type of emojis links and you can simply use the personalization like first name last name full name as well like hi first name thank you so much connecting how everything is going on or i can simply choose any type of message over here hi full name thank you so much for connecting what do you do like you uh, you can simply set any type of message that you simply want to do you can simply use the personalization so it will feel like more on the personal level you can simply set that up as well once you're done with that you need to save the messages okay so once you save the messages the next step is that you need to go to add friends now this is a place where you will simply fetch the friend list whatever the friend list you already created in your facebook account it will get over here and then you will choose the list you want to segment the friends yeah your latest friend or the your newly added friend we simply talk about so over this place you will choose the number of lists you want those people to add into so that's how it works so right now it's fetching those people into the list and okay and each time like you uh, create a new list just reload your friend list once again over here and then you have the new updated list over here as well like you can simply add as many as list as you want to it's so simple to do once you have put up over here like now i need to choose the number of list i can simply choose one list or multiple list so if you know about organic profile funnel we segment the people whenever new friends add it up and if you do it on a manual base it will take a lot of time to do so friend funnels do that for you as well once I've chose business friends, I'm doing save changes. Now, once you've done these two things, you don't need to do that again and again. Because, yeah, but the thing is that if anything, if you want to change the messages, you will go into messages and you need to save it. And if anyone, uh, any friend list that has been updated into your Facebook, then you need to fetch friend list once again and it will be updated over here. Once these two steps are done, you can initiate if you want the extension to work now you need to keep that in mind if someone is accepting your friend request that's totally simple that's totally uh, way too easy to use but if you want to uh, accept the friend request of your friends out there or accept the friend request out there be sure to accept the request from mbasic.facebook.com and be sure to initiate the friend funnels on the mbasic.facebook.com because on the main domain that is facebook.com it won't work so what I will do is that let uh, let us like accept few of the friend requests out there. Like uh, let's say we accept this guy. Okay, be sure that you need to accept the friend request from mbasic.facebook.com. That's important. And let us accept uh, like two or more requests. Let's do for this person. And we do one more. Okay, let us choose who should we accept. Okay, let's choose this person. Okay, now we have accepted three person out there on mbasic.facebook.com and they will be, there might be a couple of people who have accepted our friend request. Again, if someone is accepting our friend request, there is not a problem at all into it. But if we need to accept the friend request, we should to accept on mbasic. Once everything done, we and once everything is done, the only thing that you need to do is that you need to choose your time interval, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 
once it's done you need to initiate okay keep that in mind once friend funnel sends the message to everyone who it's supposed to send after that any new person that come up into your friend list just go to friend funnel and initiate again and that's it okay you you don't need to set up anything else other than you need to hit initiate that's it and fun, friend funnels will do its job okay you don't need to do anything now if you see over here now right now friend funnel is filtering out the people whom he needed to send the friend request and the message okay whom it needed to send the message so these are the people who filtering uh, for using friend funnels so it's choosing everyone out there once it chose everyone out there whom it needed to send the message then it start to sending the message on the basis of the time interval other than this keep one more thing in mind that once you started hitting initiate you can simply go on any tab you want you can simply minimize your uh, your window as well you can simply go on on any tab you can do any of your work as well and it will work on the back end once it start to sending the message and once the that factor ends you can simply start initiate once again if there is any newly added friend it will send the message to them as well and other than this once if your system is on every time you can simply initiate you can simply do i have like ran multiple extensions uh, like save so much time to connect with the new friends out there only because of this one now if you see it will send the message to that first person out there So now it will like filter that person into the particular list that we simply want to add to and it will go to the business friend list that we already chose so it will go over there. So once it's done, now after a minute, the time interval that we have set up, after a minute, it will go to the next person out there and it will send the message to the next person out there. Now, as I said, I can simply go on any place. Like if I say, I can simply go on the Google as well. Like I can be over any type of window or I can simply minimize it as well. Still, friend funnel will do its job. You will see over here right now, it will come a loading, like a loading a circle over here once it starts sending the message to the next person out there so it will right now will happen after a one minute time interval so as you can see at uh, the one minute ended and now it's moving to the next person out there to send the message to and once it send the message to that particular person then it will go on for the next person uh, that it was to whom to send the message okay so that is the general process how it will work and now the only thing that you need to do once you've set up friend funnel is you need to initiate and that's it okay and if you need to accept the friend request accept the friend request on mbasic.facebook.com and if someone is accepting your friend request that's totally okay just hit initiate on mbasic and that's it you don't need to do anything other than this and it's like everything happening on automation so it will save you so much time and so much money if you're using friend funnels and it's saving me so much time i'm using my own medicine and it's working awesome okay so if we wait like a minute it will go for the next person and i guess like that's it for now and it will help you a lot and let me know if you have any question that's it for now see you next time